Hey guys, welcome back to Faith for Keto Kitchen where we make keto delicious. So, we're going to continue our food inventory series. Yes, it's been so much fun making different recipes for different days of the month. And the person that made this book, his name is John Hopkins, and he wanted to make it fun having different food to celebrate and recipes as well for every day of the year. So, today is, let's see, September 26th. Well, for us, it's Key Lime Pie Day. I love key lime pie. I don't know if you guys do, but it's so good because it's creamy, it's tangy, it's delicious, and that graham cracker crust, mm. But for a keto-friendly one, I just decided to make something easy. I want to make key lime pie, well, key lime cookies. They're so tangy and buttery and delicious, and I think you guys will really love them. But first, a few fun facts about the key lime pie. So, it says in here that the key lime pie was made by a woman named Aunt Sally. And she made that key lime pie for a millionaire, and his name is Bill Curry. A long time ago, like 1856, which is definitely a long time ago. So she made that with the key lime pies in Florida, because that's where the key lime generally, you see a lot of the key lime pies at. And a fun fact is this, the true key limes, they are really super hard to find because it says here that they were destroyed in a hurricane in 1926. So they actually replanted and started to create more limes by using the Persian lime. So that's what we really kind of use today. But today we're just going to use regular limes that I found at my grocery store. But they taste just as good. All right, guys, so let's get started. So I made this recipe. I was going to make it for our new upcoming ebook, which will be out pretty soon. And I thought that I would share it with you guys. It's perfect for the key lime pie day, right? So what you'll need to have, since it's a fresh recipe, I'm going to read from the book. So you'll need two and a fourth cup of almond flour, a fourth cup of coconut flour, four ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of granular urethritol, because you know guys, I like to use the powder, but this time it's going to be regular urethritol. And you can find these things um, on Amazon if you don't know what urethritol is. It's a sweetener natural sweetener. So is liquid stevia, and we'll be using 10 to 15 drops of that. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of key lime extract, or lime extract if you can find that. Um, and I use uh, a, a company called One on One Flavors, um, and theirs is really good, it's nice and strong, so you wanna get that. A pinch of salt, one fourth cup of lime juice, and with that, one tablespoon of the zest of lime. So I pretty much use three limes to equal about a tablespoon of lime. So that's what we'll do. Preheat your oven though to 350 degrees to get that going. And with a baking sheet, put some parchment paper or a silicone mat on that so these don't have any stickage, okay? So we're gonna take those wet ingredients and we're gonna whip them up and then we're gonna add the dry ingredients, okay guys? So let's get that going. So. With, we're going to get the butter. Oh, I need a spatula. Let me grab a spatula. Okay, so normally, so here is that key lime pie uh, by 101 Flavors. So you can go to oolflavors.com. Check that out, guys. And it gives it a really good boost of flavor. If you don't have it, try to find some lime extract. It should work just as well. So we're going to take our butter. We're gonna add our cream cheese, four, four ounces of cream cheese, one stick of butter, just in case I set it. We're gonna take our 15 drops of liquid stevia. I love that liquid stevia. It's great to use li liquid stevia with like monk food sweetener or erythritol because it blends well and it, cause you know, I don't know if you guys have used erythritol, let me know if you have, but it has that kind of kind of weird aftertaste sometimes, so it's stevia, but when you marry those together, it comes out really delicious. It tastes like almost like regular sugar. These are natural sugars though. Okay, so we got that in there. Oh, our, uh, what is, how much are we using of this? Oh, rosemary. No vanilla. I don't know where I was going with that, but we do want to use our one-on-one -on -one flavors, guys, and that is a teaspoon of one-on-one -on -one flavors, not vanilla. Uh-oh, let me go grab a teaspoon. What is that? Well, it's a half a teaspoon. It'll do. We'll do two of these. <laughs> All right, let's see. So guys, do you like key lime pie? Have you ever tried key lime pie before? 
I like it because it's so good. Mm, it tastes so yummy and creamy. And I like anything that's tangy. Like when I was a kid, I would get like Sour Patch Kids and things like that. Or they used to have these um, goldfish, but they had ones that were really kind of tangy and stuff. So I like anything tangy. That's just me. Let me know if you guys like, uh, if you're more of a sweet or tangy type person, you know? So we're gonna blend that up some, and then we'll add that lime juice, okay? And that's a fourth cup of lime juice. But I wanna get this all whipped up and creamy. Let's see. We got that nice and whipped up. Ooh, it smells so bright, like lime already. That's just with the extract. So then we're gonna add our quarter of a cup of lime juice. Let me get that whipped up. Make sure you push a lot of the ingredients because it kind of goes to the side, so you wanna get that all well incorporated. So Get yourself a spatula and push all that away from the sides of your bowl and whip it up again. Let's go. We're gonna get our dry ingredients apart from the uh, zest. So we'll whip that zest in last, but let's get our dry ingredients in, which is the almond flour, coconut flour, baking powder, and lime zest. So I like the lime zest, gotta break it up sometimes because sometimes it sticks together once you uh, grate it. There you go. So that's about a tablespoon of lime zest. Get that all in there. This is gonna be really yummy, guys. So get that all incorporated, guys. Get it nice and stirred in. I'm just using a spatula so I can come away from the sides, but of course you can use your spoon. So this makes about 20 cookies. Nice size cookies, too. And when you, these bake up there, like, You'd be surprised because they literally taste like a key lime pie. Like if they're soft and, and just um, creamy inside, but tangy, tastes really good, guys. This, If you like tangy, if you like any type of um, lemon or lime flavor, you'll really like these. So this is how the batter comes out, nice and thick, okay? So let's get some of these things out of the way so we can make our cookies. Let me know if you like these guys. If you make these, let me know, okay? Comment below after you make them. And remember, you can still get just some lime zest if you want to try these out. And let me know how they come out. I haven't tried that yet. I just used the one-on-one -on -one flavors. But you know what? I know it'll work. It'll be fine. So let's see. Get our cookie sheet. One second. I'll be right back when you grab the cookie sheet. All right. So we got our cookie sheet. We got our cookie our favorite, famous cookie scoop. All right, let's see, we're gonna make about 20 mounds or as many as we can get on here, but it generally makes about 20 cookies, guys. And you wanna press them down because they don't really spread a lot. So let's get these on here first. Okay guys, so I put 15 cookies on here. We have a little bit more left and we'll finish up those once we bake these. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna press them down and make a nice round shape. I say press them about half an inch thick. And you're gonna just make them nice looking guys because you know we eat with our eyes. Okay, so we have our last cookie shaped and this is what they look like. So we're gonna put them in the oven and bake them first for about eight to 10 minutes. And they need to not get really brown, just lightly brown around the edges. And then we'll be right back, okay guys? So see you in a second. Okay, so our key lime cookies are done. And I'm really excited because they smell amazing right now. So I'm gonna dig right in, okay guys? They came out really nice, guys. Look at that. And they're creamy. So these, these cookies are like, Look at that, buttery and creamy, and just they just remind me of a key lime pie. Mm -hmm. And they're not too sweet, and they have that creaminess in there. It's just, I can't help but to say creamy. And that lemon, sorry, that lime zest in there gives it that pop. Really good, guys. So give these a try. Mm. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, subscribe to our channel, and just be a part of the family, guys. And definitely hit that bell to get the notifications anytime I upload a new video. So I'm Rosemary with Faith for Keto Kitchen. God bless you and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.